in a regular part of the world, you know, like as pictured here with its most famous resident. Clowns. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Goosebumps Horror Town. This is part one to this Trapped in the Circus of Fear update. Now you might be looking at this and thinking, wait a minute Graham, that seems odd. Where is the, where's the post or picture or stuff like that? Well, as you can probably see from the uh, time frame there, uh, oh god. <laughs> There's some reasons to be believed. After Half a year of nothing. There were some things, if you thought me going mad during the last update was something, whew, you, you have yet to see what's going on now. Oh boy. I have decided to split this into four chapters. And I figured to make it easier, I've decided to save some things to part two and part three. I'll show off the picture stuff when we get to part four and vice versa. So, with that being said, I might as well go ahead and try to jump into this as quickly as possible. So, in this first part, it's basically the simple introduction as you kind of think. You me going like, ooh, ah, here's the announcement. Haha, <laughs> I knew this way back when. <laughs> uh, how exactly long ago? God, back in April 20. That's how long this has been. Literally almost a year, half a year. So, yeah, my, my joke earlier back in part zero isn't joking. So, here we go. Here's this part basically talking about when the event ended and uh, the time between the first update, which will be coming up after this. By the way, if you don't want to watch all this filler stuff and you want to get to the very end, I have time stamped everything, so you can just get to the good stuff and just skip everything. So. You know, it's a lot shorter than it actually is, but if you're wanting to know my journey for this madness, then please come join me. We're going to jump in back in April 20th of this year, 2023, as we go in after the event ended, and my, uh, my initial thoughts and stuff back then, and some interesting things I found out during this time of wait. Well, well, <laughs> did you guess correctly with my little hint? I will give you one thing though, somebody came very close, JF619 to be precise. I ended up having to give a little hint in the comment sections of one of my community posts, and he guessed correctly what music I decided to have at the background. The music in question was American Horror Story, specifically Season 4. Freak Show. And that would have opened up a few possibilities. However, I also released one other hint, and that had something to do with clowns. And there's only one book that had freaks and clowns in it. And yep, Trapped in the Circus of Fear. What an interesting idea for a, a book. And yes, that means the character we're going to get coming into the game is Mistress Barbosa, or Barbarous, sorry, my Barbosa. I think that's that was something. Barbara? Yeah, no, it's Barbarous, but she was mistaken called Barbara in the book at some point. So, yeah, Barbarous, and uh, that's an interesting name because it has, um, if you know what that means, I think that suits the character well. It's going to be interesting to see how they're going to bring a ringleader, a female ringleader into this, and especially with her powers and everything like that. And because it's a choose-your-own-adventure book, it'll be interesting with more creativity, hopefully, fingers crossed, that it won't be as a disaster as the last update this year, the beginning of. Like, what a great way to start this year off, huh? But the other thing, too, is that I have no idea if this new feature is going to be updated alongside this new update, or is it going to be something that's going to come later on? You know, like, I mean, after this update. I have no idea, but I am curious to see. Hopefully, during this time, I will give you some... Uh, 
hints and uh, hopefully there there is hints that come within the socials or even in the community tab and hopefully they make an announcement to the group so that they can reveal themselves to know that what the next book is going to be but i am quite intrigued to see how this whole circus is going to end up and what kind of funny items it bring into the table it brings you a lot more creativity especially with the design since we have kind of tents and circus like themes so you know to have that be added to the game is not like out of the question it'll be curious to see how they implement it but i digress with any rate looks like theo and the group is going to get more clowns be interesting to see how they design it and who they decide to bring in and the dialogue and everything like that and who is going to be involved curious indeed but i am more interested to see how this turns out i will update you in the coming days but we're at the end of april going into may so hopefully it won't be as long as or tedious as the last update so let's see isn't that right magical assistant the real mezo yeah i don't know why i ended it like that but uh yeah funny clowns well it's the next day may the first and you might be thinking oh there's there's new information um, time limit thanks uh, all right Anyways, you might be thinking that I'm doing this because, oh, they made the announcement or whatnot. Uh, no, no, they did not. They didn't make any announcements. But I figured I might as well go ahead and talk about the last event we've had. The Bride one. And, uh, you know my opinions on that one. But I decided to look at, uh, recently I've been looking at numbers as far as, um, Sensor's Tower. To kind of give me a rough estimate of how games are... Like, it doesn't give you a full estimate on everything. It only gives you some minor things. But it gives you enough information to kind of give you an idea on how things are going. But anyways. So, looking at this, I have found out that when the update hit back in March... There was a lot of people who downloaded the game. Something tells me that it was because the new update hit and lots of people decided to come back to the game just to see this new update. Now, that being the case, how well did this do profit-wise? Well, not really any downloads happened during April, which I guess is to be expected. But uh, as far as things go... Mm. <laughs> it not not really that great. And this is partially why we're getting the updates that we are and small as they are because they're trying to get as little revenue things as possible because you know, we're not going to get the 10k ever again. I mean, we might, but you know, that's just rare now. It's and then I think they're aware of it too. So hopefully this new mechanic feature thing that comes in is going to help them in some form maybe make it easier for us make it fun have some revenue or something i don't know it's going to be interesting to see how well this turns out because i don't want the game to die i mean the thing is i have to see how well the other updates will do this year because we have that new show coming up this year so as far as goosebumps property is concerned it still probably might have a chance because the name is still out there. It's still, you know, making the rounds. So Halloween will probably be good for an update for sure. When that comes around later on in the end of the year. But as far as everything else is concerned, I'm not sure. I guess we'll have to find out how well this year turns out. Because that will probably determine whether or not we will see new like if we'll see this to 2024 i'm hoping the answer is yes but again the company seems like they're trying to do whatever makes them like whatever's profitable and the thing is they know that the profits is not there anymore because of the whole 
2021 being a thing. Thanks, Scholastics. But, um, you know, as far as the profit stuff goes, it seems like the game's active. So there's still stuff there. It's just trying to make something, some money out of it. So little less things here and there. I get it. But, you know, whatever works for them, so long as we get content updates and stuff going, I, I, I really don't care, you know. And at this point, I I don't know. Like, for me, I, I buy these bundles and stuff because, you know, I'm a content creator and I get it read and off anyways because, you know, I make my money back through ads and whatnot. So it's not like anything too out there. But the one thing that is concerning is more so how this whole thing is going to turn out. So I'm curious to see how well Trapped in the Circus of Fear is going to turn out. Hopefully there will be a lot more profit, probably because there's a lot more fun items they can go ahead and do. Well, East, the last one was kind of not really interesting as far as... Like I said, the decorations are kind of nice, but at the same time, they're kind of like... You know, they're just there. It feels like, honestly, and this is my honest opinion looking at this, I feel like he had no idea what he was doing. I feel like he, he knew the book was there, but he had no idea how to make this into a thing. So, yeah, that's my honest opinion on what I think is going on here. But um, that's neither here or there. And, yeah, as you can see, I still haven't put any of this down and there's for important reasons too because of um other dumb things that went on now for the chocolate hearts i believe i'm probably gonna what i'm probably gonna do is i'm gonna probably stuff them over here in the candy area because it makes sense oh yeah something very annoying i want to say i don't know when this changed but before I was able to click on, like, a building with money and all that stuff without having to interrupt with the character. But now, if the character is done and you want to click on the money, both get clicked at the same time. I'm assuming they did this to make it more convenient so it's not like you have to click twice. But it kind of makes it annoying for me because now it's like I have to keep on sending them back and I always forget. It's like, oh, oops. And they must have done this in last update with, um, you know, the recent one that this happened. So, that's probably where I'm going to put the chocolate stuff. Um, these two boxes, I'm not sure. I'm probably going to just have the one out. I'll probably figure where to put that one. And the teddies... My plan was originally supposed to be at the love area, but I have no idea where to put them. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to probably just go around and see a good area. And then I'm just going to show off what I ended up doing after the fact. Oh, and if you're curious what happened to, um, yeah, Jill's house is up here now. Why? I don't know. This is the only place I figured would be nice to fit there for now. So, yeah, this is where she lives now. And for some reason, her house just kind of connects to the... It's okay, it's so weird. Whatever, man. Whatever, it's... I'll I'll play around with this and do stuff while I wait. To maybe decorate or something. I, I don't know. Hopefully we do get an announcement of something soon, though. Alright, this is where I decided to put it. I decided to put this here for some reason. I only have the one. I decided to put the other one in storage for something. The bears are over here for... Like, why? Why not? They're just there. And the chocolate hearts are just hiding in this area because, you know, chocolate, you know, candy makes sense. So that's where they're put. It. So now this area here is ready for the next one. So I'll get to have circus stuff, and then I have to decide where to put that stuff. And while I think about it, I also have to figure out where to put this stuff once the thing is working. Hopefully, hopefully this next update will fix it. Fingers crossed. All right, something interesting came up um, after I was done recording. Uh, no announcements yet, nothing official, still 
radio silence. But the reason I'm making this thing is while I was searching on the web, I was searching on certain sites, uh, mostly with um, art portfolios of uh, certain people who've worked with the company as like uh, contractors. And, um, well, I came across one of these people who've worked with them before, and I think she has been working with them since last year and so. But she decided to show her portfolio of the stuff she did for Goosebumps, and she's she's worked on Goosebumps for since the game revived back last year, 2022. Well, what's funny about that is that she decided to show off the character she also worked on, and sure enough, the characters in question was the last update one. And she also showed off some of the um, face and all that stuff. So I'm not sure if she's the one who did the animation per se, but she certainly did a good job as far as um, the character looks and all that. But one of the interesting things about it is that... Um, <laughs> She made certain, uh, like something I didn't realize is that apparently she made different versions of the possessed Jillian. For example, here's this image, which is, uh, her in her, like, sad looking face. And, uh, this tells me that either they were trying to find, um, certain things with this, or that there was another idea with Jillian being possessed, and yet she still kind of fights so that they kind of had a different image. Or, I'm not 200% sure, but uh, if you want something extremely curse, uh, let me show you uh, this version. <laughs> yeah, uh, the <laughs> that is terrifying. So they took the face of her, uh, like, when she was doing the green vomiting thing, and uh, made that into a, 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 a dialogue image. But Jesus, <laughs> that, that that's going to give you nightmares for the rest of this thing. So you thought clowns were scary? Nah, Jillian's possessed dummy faces. God, this has got to be terrifying. I'm sorry, I, I ruined it for you guys. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's still fun regardless. So, fun things in the background when you find out. Fun discoveries indeed, and I found this not on ArtStation, but there was another site that's um, kind of does this too. So again, I kind of search for these things, and when I come across them, it is an interesting find. No update yet. Still working. Still going to come, hopefully this month. That's the plan anyways. But one thing I want to mention is when the event ended, when it did, the... These these two things were offline, like you couldn't do anything. However, for some reason now they are. Now I don't know if this is just something where logging in and log logging off and logging back in somehow does this, or what. But it is interesting that this happened. Just something I wanted to throw out there. It is currently May eighteenth. The reason I'm recording this is just thinking something on the top of my head recently. Now, I'm probably going to talk more about this during the, um, um, what do you call it? Like, you've probably seen this already, but during my, um, summer up video update on the channel, I'm probably going to make a mention of this, but I have a theory on something. Now, I did mention that I don't think a battle pass is coming. And although I do think it's true when it comes to the events, there's still a possibility that the Battle Pass is what they're working on. And you might be thinking, what do I mean by this? Well, some games have certain events that goes on, but then they also have a Battle Pass on the side. A prime example, this is what happened recently with Disney's Magic Kingdoms. And you might be thinking, how will this work? Well, we got this, the Scarometer. Do you remember way back when, in 2020, the previous guy mentioned that how he wanted to do something with this thing? Something tells me that they're going to probably use a Battle Pass feature utilizing the Scarometer. So by collecting stuff, by sending characters a scare, and perhaps maybe by doing certain actions, we unlock more scares. The more scares we get, the higher we get on the progression wheel, 
and stuff of that nature. Now, I don't think this is going to be anything huge. Like, I don't think it's going to have any stories or things like that. But I do think it's going to be an improvement on this feature here. And I think we'll get more these, specifically these, you know, cash, of course, coins, um, certain items, and space, for sure. But I also think we might get some extra goodies, like actual decorations. And I think these are going to be themed each season or whatever whatever the battle pass is going to be or whatever scare pass what i call it would be and there's a theory that this is probably what's going to work like this is the only thing i can think of realistically that they could do to add to the game without adding too much while also making it like they're adding a new feature to the game in order to make a profit this is the only thing i can think of that would make a profit while also not breaking the bank and as it were like Basically, events are still going to be going on as usual, as we've been seeing. But also now we're getting something on the side. Kind of like how we have those mini, like back in the mini. Like, give you a prime example. Um, December this year, or last year. Remember how we had a mini event? Yeah, like the little, the little spooky things, right? Imagine that mini event, except instead of it being an event, it's actually a battle pass. And you're grinding away to get certain items like this. And they could be something cool too. Maybe we can actually have those NPC characters that we talk about. Like NPC monsters. So instead of these boring gray people around. We can actually have some monsters. Like imagine like those aliens. You know like uh, the, the you know, squid people or whatnot. Or something. You know monsters. Like horrors. Just walking around like normal people. And they can actually be scared. That would be interesting. I have a feeling that that's what they're doing. That's the only realistic thing I can think of. But I'm still going to be surprised regardless. But depending on what it is, we will see how it goes. And uh, I'll adjust it accordingly. And I might make a video separately with it. But again, I have to wait and see what exactly goes on. But that's just where my headspace is at right now. Now, like I said before, will this come with this update that we see with the Trap in the Circus of Feel? F f f f <laughs> Just trapped in the Circus of Fear? Chances are the answer is no, but there's always a possibility. You never know. But I will see how it goes. The only way I could think of is because they're adjusting the economy, which would suggest that's what they're doing. So... Perhaps that's what they might be doing. We'll have to wait and see. But I think it's a, I think it's going to be a wee work of this. And perhaps also the land and whatnot. I don't know. Either that or it could be something to do with the land. Because before they're like, oh, we wanted to put snow, but we can't because of land issues. So th that could be another thing they might be doing. Like a horror land. Actual area that you can make your own. Like, kind of like how Assimilation does their stuff. I doubt it, because that seems a little bit more work, but again, this is the problem when you don't know what's coming up, but they're like, oh, something new, but we won't tell you, but that's the only thing I could think of, so we'll see what happens, but uh, yeah, this is this recording here just to see if I end up being right or if I'm an idiot, so we'll see what happens. Right, so that was it there. So, now then, we jump into part two. Before I go ahead and talk about that, um, because this video is a bit long in length, I've decided to give myself some bit ad breaks each between each act. So, with that in mind, enjoy this first bit. Right, sorry about that, but you know, I need to make my money somehow. Especially with the horrors you're about to see later on. But I digress. Anyways, our first edition comes in with a bit of a filler. This one was actually about the update coming up, which was the, um, the, the special book that came in. Now, I already did a special book talking about it in its own separate video, if you're interested around that time in May-ish. So, you understand what that one is, and I'll show off the special bundles and stuff on the side that wasn't shown there, because it was focusing on that particular book, so I digress. But, in hindsight, I did make a mention of something that I will make note of when we get closer to it. But all I need to tell you now is simply that this is taking place, this clip, 
the 5th of May, 24th of 2023, so literally within a month's time. Here's the clip for that. Well, it's May 24th now, and as you can see, there's a new um, update here that I want to show off. So, one thing to note is, if you're curious, the event ends and done thing from the last update. Um, I did have a picture of it, here it is here. So, um, yeah, you get to see how that looks. But yeah, as you can see here, there's Rock City Santa Pack. But that's not the only thing. Apparently there's another one, which is basically um, Mr. Chameleon. So if you're curious, here are the two packs here to give you a good example of it. It's basically the same thing that you see before you. The only difference is it's just unique items are shown as well as just uh, all the other. So any consumable stuff, you can still get that. Um, I, I believe that these are just stuff that you need in order to complete the quests that they have. It's interesting that they decided to pick them out of nowhere, but uh, yeah, that's something to be known of. But that's not the only thing, as you can notice over here. The Full Moon Fever Pack. It's here. Now, I will mention this in its own separate video, so I'll talk about that. But it is quite interesting to see that that is being a thing right now. So, yeah, it, it, quite intriguing, to say the least. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know how to feel about that, but it is quite interesting that that's, that's the book that they decided to go with this time around. Why? Why not, apparently? So, yeah, we got that. So that's, that's the newest thing that's coming up right now. So at least there's some updates coming through. I'm going to be going ahead and talking about um, other stuff too, so it's not just this, but another update video, because I have a feeling I have an idea what's going on now, but that's just hearsay. But anyways, there's one last thing to talk about for this update, and that is Jillian. Yeah, so Jillian has some new quests now. Basically, it's the same as before, except now she drops common items, which is, I guess they're okay, they're the standard stuff, but there's nothing, anything too exciting. But, yeah, there she is there. So, yeah, that's it for now. I have a feeling I won't be coming back until sometime around June. Because I feel like if this, if 26 days has anything to go by, that means we won't be expecting this update until near the end of June. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty expected that this is going to be the pattern of behavior now, so I won't be going as insane as I did before, because at least now I have some idea of what's going on. But that's just my thoughts anyways. Hey, you gave me my bones. Go back to being a wonderland. Like, pff, I had a thing going on here because of Su Susie. That, there we go. Sugar snowflake, whatever. Right, so, the reason I'm making the video is just kind of like, I've already, now by the point of you watching this, I've already released the Cracking the Code video talking about what I think the whole event stuff is going to be like. So, I got that going on there. I'm just also working on the, um, film the Moon Fever thing, so don't worry about that. But one thing I thought was interesting is one of the reasons I love this game is the gray shirt nobodies these npcs because this made this town more lively you know it's not just the actual characters you get like you know how simpsons and whatnot like you got a bunch of characters that are well known well like they they introduced these nobodies basically as just being able to skip spook them right that's the whole point of the game but it's so interesting that they actually ended up doing this because this makes this town more lively with a bunch of randos old men and women and uh normal young-ish men and women we still don't got kids i feel like kids should be the next thing but you know it's just interesting that we got random people here and the reason i say that is because just thinking about this right now think of her oasis anytime i played that game and it was just like oh here's the cutscene of us talking to the townspeople and i'm just like what are you talking about townspeople just you three you know, in this empty island, right? But here, when it's like, oh, townspeople, I'm like, yeah, you know what? You're, you're exactly right. Look, townspeople, there they are. 
you know, you need a bunch of NPC nobodies to kind of fill out your town. To kind of help it make it feel lively. That's one of the things I love about this game. And Disney Magic Kingdoms also had um, something similar to that. Where they had a bunch of NPCs that kind of go around. In fact, now that I mention it, Wonder Park had the same feature. Where they had a bunch of randos come into the game. Because that was the whole point of the you know entertaining guests. So, uh, all I'm saying is... If you want your town builder game to feel lively, have a bunch of NPCs and utilize something with them. Like, make them have a feature. In this case, they're basically um, scare farmers. You use them to spook the characters and then uh, that's it. And you're good and gold. So, yeah. that That's the thing. That's, that's all I really want to talk about. So, I'll pop in when something else comes into my head or something new comes around. So, yeah. We're still waiting on the update. But, uh, you know, I'm not insane this time because I at least know after the countdown here with 23 days, the update should hit. But hopefully during that time, we get some teases. So be on the lookout for that, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Today is a special day. Today is the 30th, which means it's happy birthday to Horror Town, turning five years. I already made a video talking a bit about it, the retrospective of the five years we've had. This game's interesting updates and, you know, features. But yeah, interesting that today marks that day. And, um, yeah, maybe they might have something to, co to celebrate it, but who knows. Now well, this is the last day of May. And we got this special spooky deal on Joy 50% off on Fat Wallet and Briefcase. Check the bank. Okay. Yeah, I won't do that. But uh, interesting pop-ups. So I'm just still recording, um, replaying the uh, Full Moon Fever update. And I just wanted to throw this in here and say that um, I came across the, um, the in-app uh, on uh, Google. And they're advertising the fact that there's this pack that's going on right now, which is the first time I've seen this. Not only that, but a pop-up window as well. You'll see this in part one to my um, Full Moon Fever quest line, so I'm not going to go too much bother here. But needless to say, it's pretty. De uh, it's a good sign to see that they're putting effort into actually trying to advertise and actually show this stuff, because that means that they're actually wanting to make this into a thing. And they've also confirmed that this is going until the 20th of June, which means that my expectation is we should see some teases coming up within these weeks. And after the 20th, within that week, we should get the update to pop in and be able to complain through the new update. That's the theory anyway. That's the guess. So let's see if we're correct and we actually get to play through Trap and Circus of Fear. Let's hope. So I'm just looking at some old videos for Goosebumps Horror Town, namely the promotional stuff. So this was like probably close to when it was fully released. And as you can see, they're kind of using the beta of this. And this actually changed before the actual release to what we have now. Well, I mean, what we used to have. But it's just interesting to look at this and just kind of make comment on it. Like, for example, up here right there that was um what seems to be uh, count nightwing's castle originally when they were talking about it up in the cliff area which is interesting and the problem is and the reason they changed this like it, it this isn't really nice landscapes and everything like that but the problem is you got this waste of space here and here you know so yeah, they had an idea of what they wanted to do, but then they ended up changing it because, you know, they end up finding out, oh yeah, you need more land to put more items to kind of do your decorations and whatnot. But then the other thing I was looking at this and found interesting is that, you know, there's this little area here, which is supposed to be like the beach type area, which I guess kind of happened in the original game, so that still kind of stayed. But one of the things that is interesting to me looking back is this area here right there now i have no idea what this is this is it supposed to be what the um original take of what would have been the um the swamp no not the swamp what am i talking about the uh the thing oh, god 
I, I, I swear that this, this is bugging me. But yeah, like Fever Swamp. So I know this is probably impossible to do, but I would have loved to get my hands on a beta of the game. Like before they did the update and release stuff, because I wanted to see what the map used to look like. Because the only thing we get a chance to see is through Casey's game play. And uh, yeah, he, you know, he he's not as in depth as I am, but I, I just find it interesting. That you kind of look back into some of this stuff, and you're just kind of going like, "Wow, kind of interesting to see what it used to be." But yeah, some of this stuff has been kind of kept, but you can see the changes. And it's interesting too when you see the actual like real beta release of this, like what I showed back in 2021 with the A-posing uh, characters. The backgrounds look totally different. And um, yeah, so it's like the scenery kind of changed a whole bunch. But yeah, it makes you wonder with the horror town, like what what is this place? Where is it taking place in? But the other thing you notice is at this point, there was no like a landscape of ice and whatnot that ended up coming up later on. So it's a lot more diverse as far as land stuff goes. And of course, they changed the mansion or the castle to turn into a mansion. So there's that as well. But yeah, that's that's just basically it for this. So yeah, down, download for free. Well, it's now the 10th and a little update. Um. So, back, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but in May, the Adams account ended up disconnecting from Facebook permanently and had to use the feature of Android and iOS as far as saving features go. Now, that being said, recently I tried going on here, but uh, Slappy disappeared, so I clicked on the, you know, this button. But as you can see, it's not saying connect. Here's the issue, though. It's not letting me connect anymore. I mean, I'm allowed to log into Facebook. It recognizes my account. I click connect and it says, oh, do you want to continue using the app? I say yes. And then nothing. It doesn't go back to the game. It just freezes where it was. So I think, and this is just me thinking out loud, I have to test this with Snoopy. But I believe, I think I figured out why they changed it back in Adams. So I have a feeling that the other game, Snoopy, and well, this one, is going to get an update to change this. Because I think Facebook is now disconnecting the service. I think that's what's going on here. I don't know. But something tells me that this is what's happening. I'll update you when I figure it out, but... I already talked to support on this. I showed them the what was going on. Let's see what they come back with. Yeah, so I've been talking to support, and it seems as though the whole Facebook connection thing is not working anymore. So I have a feeling that this is going to happen to all their games. And um, yeah, that's that kind of sucks. But there is a benefit to this. Um, I am trying to set something up so that my account will go into a new one that has the Grimalkin name. And if that works out well, that means that not only will you be able to come see my town finally, but I can see yours. And I can make a new video about that. So, we'll see what happens with this update. There's about nine more days left until the bundle's done. And from there, we should hopefully get a new update. Fingers crossed. Or at least some sort of teases to come soon. So I'm not 100% sure exactly... Um, with the issue with the, um, the saving thing, but, um, you know, I'll deal with that when I can't do it. It's the 14th now, still no news of what's going on. As you can see, there's six days, there's at least a week left before the things go away. And hopefully, we get some sort of new update. Hopefully the, um, you know, the thing in question, but yet, we have yet to see any teases, which is kind of causing me some concerns, because I really, really want to play with this, but, you know. But anyways, this would have been done sooner, but unfortunately, I had to continue on with the Miss Eakins quest, and, um, well, I should say the full moon fever update because one of the requirements was like, oh, fill the scarrow meter, <laughs> which means spend... 100,000 coins to summon everything just to get to that point. I know, it sucks for me. But anyways, we're back to this number now. 
the funny number, so now I can finally do this. Hooray! Finally, getting access to this. So, when I come back, this would be unlock, and we finally have this area going up here, which is great. So this is the next one we're going to be working on. So, yeah, some stuff to do there. So, uh, lots of work for me to do. Yeah, I accidentally clicked on the button here, so it's open now. I didn't mean to have that happen like I did, but, um, well, here it is. Anyways, so, finally got the road open up, so now people can go to Athabee's place, which is nice. So, slowly opening up the town, which is always good. Still probably figure out what I can probably do over here. I might have an idea. Maybe I could utilize the Halloween stuff, but I'm not 100% sure as of yet. I guess I will uh, have to see exactly what I want to do. But, um, yeah, it's it's going to be... It is going to be something indeed. Hmm. It is a thought. Oh, look. Shock has decided to come over here. Like the place, Shock? Yeah, you certainly do. You seem to be liking to walk up and down it. And also, uh... Oh, we got some visitors. <laughs> I do love how the NPC kind of does that. I do want to go ahead and um, make a correction. Earlier around this clip, I did mention how the... Um, this didn't seem like it's working. It actually did. For some reason, it, it connected. Like, I did go to another device just to test... Turns out, not only does the other device work, but it also seems like Facebook is saving whatever's happening on here onto the account. But for some reason, it's just glitched out and just kind of shows this off. I don't know why. It is so bizarre. It is... I don't know how to fix it or correct it. I'm going to see exactly what he might suggest, but we'll see. We're also in talks with them to see if we can figure out what could be the next update. Assuming it's going to be around in late September going into October for Halloween. There was an option that we wanted to do, but that might not happen due to circumstances. Like they're looking at it. If they don't want to go with that option, there's another option that I'm going to suggest that might be a bit better in context, but we'll have to wait and see. Also, look, it's our favorite cat. And it's just interesting that him is up there. Also, Greg is checking out the place. Oh yeah, I guess we'll see. Um, not sure about the first option, but the second option probably is more likely to happen just due to stuff, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. So, some news has been going around in the Goosebumps um, forums. In this case, I think Reddit was when I got this information from, and also Ozzy, um, Goosebumps number one Ozzy fan. You know, I, th I think it's Bjorn, I think his name was. I, I might be a mistake, I'm sorry. But yeah, anyways, I saw a video of him talking about this, and apparently there's been a leak of the tease poster of this new Goosebumps show that might be called Resurrection, but again, it's not a, again, it's, it's very hard to say if this is real or not, because if it, by the way, if this turns out to be fake, my god, did you do a, such a great job with actually making it look official, but anyways, I'll show you this image here, this is what a lot of people are freaking out about, because, uh, my god, look at what they made with Slappy, that is horrifying in a good way. I'm, I was looking at this, and it's it was giving me scary stories to tell in the dark vibes, which is good. You want, like, basically, this is what they they told us about way back in 2019, where they said they want to make something that not only appeals to kids, like, you know, this whole series is supposed to be, but also to an adult who grew up with it as well. And I feel like having it be that kind of dark would make it a good balance ground. Like, actually make it not like whole, like... the. The films, I think, was a little bit too kitty, in a sense. Like, it's nothing bad with the films. It's just, you know, it's, it was a lot more humor and slapsticky. Like, it kind of, John, what do you call it? Drawn roots to the whole, here's, um, 
you know, like like how the '90s show was. It was R.L. Stein's humor, which is that more of less the '80s schlocky, kind of cheesy type of like, oh, it's spooky, but you know, not really. There's like, oh, there's funny jokes, you know, th- that kind of thing. Well, this one seems to be a little bit more serious in tone, which I think a lot of people want to see happen. So again, it's not official if this is true or not, but we'll have to wait and see. Although I will say it's Justin Long here, um, if that is that is if that is him there with the glasses, a lot of people are like, oh, it could be young R.L. Stein, which is like, eh, I guess it could be, but I, I don't know. He could just be some random character. I don't think that's even true, R.L. Stein. I think they've said that he was supposed to be like a teacher of some kind. I I have no idea. Look, I'm just hoping. And my theory is, before, when uh, when this Goosebumps movie came out in 2015, when they were advertising and posting stuff about it, the official kind of tea, like, official stuff was going on during San Diego's Comic-Con, which this year is less, is going around late July. So, like, July 20th to whatever. My theory is... When that happens around July, whatever, I think that's when we should get the official trailer tease to this sometime around there. That's my guess is I think it's going to be July 20th when we should see official of uh, what the new show is going to be about. And if this leak turned out to be true and, um, you know, we'll know for sure. But, hey, it's it's funny that we start get to get and talk about this stuff because, you know, it's well worth it on, on the front also, by the way, by the time I record this, I have officially finished the um, Full Moon Fever. So now I'm bored. Now I have to wait until the official update comes in, which I have been confirmed. It is going to be, um, you know, Trapped in the Circus of Fear. Though the feature that they've been working on may not appear during this update. So uh, we'll see what ends up happening. But yeah, more content, that's for sure. So I'm looking forward to seeing if they can um, redeem themselves after the <laughs> last update. But I, I digress. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how they pull off the trap to Circus of Fear. But uh, yeah, anyways, uh, this should be interesting. Hopefully we'll some news comes soon. I wish I was coming back with some news, but unfortunately, uh, I feel stupid. But oh, that's nice. Thank you. Um, the okay. Listen, I, this video has been going on long enough, and I don't want to make it too long. I don't know what I'm going to be doing for this, so I try not to do anything. Like Canada Day and you know Independence Day just passed. It's now the fifth of July. And absolutely nothing. Nothing has been said. Nothing has been confirmed. Absolutely zip all. Nothing. And I feel like the reason for that, in my theory, is that I I have a feeling that this new feature, quote-unquote, that they want to add to the game is tied into the event. And they want to try to put this in here alongside it. So that's why they're not doing anything with the update. I'm hoping that we get this soon than later my hope is like before the end of july but honestly it can be any day now which which sucks because again we've not seen any previews we've not seen anything like you know it's okay i i I hate to do this but um you left me with no choice see this meme yeah this meme here that i'm just putting on display this is how I feel about the game. As you can see, there's super, there, there's there's Pixel, right? And uh, on the and the, this is just games I cover, right? And the the cover the game that they're going after is is Adams Adams Family Mystery Mansion. It's like oh yes, good and no nothing wrong with Adams. It's it's lovely. I I do love the game and I do cover it, but. A lot of people just come here for Adams. They come here for Goosebumps, and then we look at Goosebumps. Oh oh oh, oh no. The kid's drowning. Oh, God. What's going on with the poor kid? Oh, no. The poor kid. And then, and then of course, way at the bottom. Ah, uh, there's her oasis. Dead. Yep, that's the, that's the meme of this game with the games I covered for Pixel. 
and it's a fortunate. So there's no new game, as far as I know, to kind of keep it up to date, like to make it more interesting to kind of keep myself busy. So I have only Adams to kind of cover for. And, you know, Adams is doing pretty well, but it's not interactive as, say, Goosebumps is. And, you know, I, my whole thing is with Goosebumps, right? And, yeah, the game's not dead, but at the same time, it doesn't give anything out either. And it seems sucky because they have to try to, like, like I'll give you the hindsight of everything. They, last month, they made 11k, which isn't a whole lot, but it's pretty decent amount of money for what they do. So, they're trying to work with the money they got here, versus how, you know, Snoopy's making dummy thick money with like what almost like 10 when 10,000k or t yeah a hundred thousand dollars with a ridiculous amount right not that ridiculous amount but you know a very high right and then you got Adam's second place all right so hopefully we get something soon and I am sorry that this is another one of those long long videos and, uh, oh, by the way, uh, something I wanted to add. Um, yeah, this account is no longer saved onto Facebook because I decided to try to see if I can fix the issue. And that turns out I can't do that no more. So I'm on a, a new account with my features here. So this is now not saving to my old account. I, I shouldn't have, I should have just left it as is because it was saving on the cloud. But stupid me, I had to, I had to go with their thing. My only hope is for two things. Either, one, I get a new phone this week while my day off, and the new phone allows me to, you know, actually add the thing there, so it would be fine. Or, the other thing to do, number two, is the new update comes in, it gives me patches and fixes stuff, and not only does it give me a new content update, but hopefully it'll also fix the um, the Valentine's of Poison Lake. Because honestly, I want to get this video out there, but unfortunately I can't do anything because unfortunately, as you know, it's broken. It's, you know, they have to reset it so I can replay it again because it just auto-completed it, which sucks. So yeah, hopefully that uh, fixes everything, so... We'll see. Okay, I don't know what happened. I just basically decided to sign in, and it works now. Oh my god. It does. It just worked. I'm now logged in. Oh my god. I think my account is now gone, though. I mean... At least I'm saved for now. I just want to update, too, by the way. That, because my birthday is coming up, I think mean, it's the 8th now, going into... To, you know, I've decided to get myself a new tablet and hopefully this works out well for me and recording and all that stuff, because if it does, then that will improve videos moving forward. That's the, that's the thing anyways. I mean, I'll still do phones like this when I'm on the go, but you know, mostly I've been doing this at home anyway, so this should probably help, but I'll see how it turns out. But yeah, production-wise, and my god, this video's long. I'm sorry. God, when is the update gonna come? So yeah, as I mentioned before, um, I figured as much that this was probably hinting at the update here. Because, if you don't know, in the story of Trick or Tr- Um, how, how, what was it again? Halloween Halloween or something like that? No, Full Moon Fever. What's wrong with me? In Full Moon Fever, Mrs. Eakins turned kids into monsters. In this book here, Trapped in the Circus of Fear, Barbarous turns kids into freaks. So, ah, oh, it's a similar. See? Two women turn kids into things. That's not human. Interesting, right? Interesting synopsis. Now, I thought a minute, that was weird. Why, why was he giving us a Halloween book in May? And then it's like, oh, of course, because it's a little hint to us plebs to let us know, hey, that next update we're going to come up with, yeah, it won't come until Halloween. But don't worry, don't worry, we have something here for you to kind of keep you hold off. And that thing will be talked right after the break. Uh, sorry about that, again. But 
you have to understand when it comes to this type of stuff, this video is going to be somewhat convoluted. But anyways, as I mentioned, hey, there was an update that came in. Yes, an update that we have been waiting for. With Yes, finally, an update that came in just in time. That update that we've been waiting for. Bundles. Ah! 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 Oh my! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh no! Now all jokes aside, yes, this is probably horrors to hear because it's like, oh no, just bundles and little bugs fix- Even the bug fixes wasn't a whole lot, which meant, oh no, you mean to tell me that all we're getting is filler stuff? Oh god, is this 2021 all over again? <laughs> Kinda feels like it. And, um, it, it, there's a reason for it, as you'll probably figure out later on, but, um, I digress. Regardless of that, though, um, yeah, I guess we should jump into it and talk about the horrors of the bundles that came in, and each one individually. This is taking place back on July 17th of 2023. Oh, boy, we're, we're almost there. Wow, is this the update I was looking for? No, it's not. But it's something, so I guess that's something to look forward to, like, I guess. Oh, God. All right, fine. The promenade is a normal, quote-unquote. What, what is that normal supposed to be exactly? Unless there's something here, but I don't know. So, hopefully I'll get a... Um, so it hasn't flipped yet. So of course the it hasn't flipped the switch. So I'm assuming they did this as a way to kind of hold us off until some until the event comes in per se. Oh, so this is this is the normal. Just basically just put rocks. <laughs> okay. Or you know what this might be? This could just be what the promenade is gonna look like near the end here. But, you know, they, they, they knew people couldn't hold off for much longer, so they had to do something. So, I guess this is the new thing. So, there'll be two unique bundles coming up, and then something else entirely. So, I think, yeah. So, this will be interesting just to kind of look at. So, I guess this is just a side video now, then. I guess until this update comes in. Because it seems like it's going to come in a little bit later on, more than I should have. So... We'll see what ends up happening. Let's see what they end up fixing. Hopefully it's they fix something with the book. So I can continue on with that. So there's something like that that can go on for. And then um, something else entirely. So I guess let's find out exactly what comes up and what these two unique bundles are supposed to be. That's supposed to hold us waiting. Because I th and this is now confirming what I, what I thought. So we were supposed to get the update as per usual, but because they have such a small team, they, here's, but it's like, oh, but they didn't have that last time, let me tell you why, because of this new feature, quote unquote, I keep on hearing about, that they keep on talking about, they don't tell me what it is, so for God knows, I don't know what, what exactly to be expecting here, but what I can tell you, is that apparently this new feature is tied in with this new update because they don't want to release one after the other so they want to they want to do a uh, um a special book kind of thing right so i don't know we'll see what ends up happening hopefully we'll get it soon within this month but uh i guess let's see what the bundles are supposed to be for how long until so it gives us a, a rough estimate of how they're going to hold us off until so yeah, hopefully it's not until the end of the year. Like, hopefully it's not like in August. I, at least the end of the month, uh, like two weeks. Then I'm like, okay, you know, then I can deal with it. If apparently they also added bug fixes, so hopefully I'll find out exactly what the bug fix the fixes are supposed to be, and I'll highlight them. But until then, yeah. So that this was a interesting experience. I don't even know how I've been putting these videos together, but, um, yeah, okay, cool. I'm just waiting for the bundle to finally pop up, but, you know, got this special bookie deal thing pop up again. This has probably happened once before, but might as well show it, because it did pop up. Okay, so this is interesting. Time-limited promo, legend sale, special offer, and we get 
what looks to be Saber's stuff. I wonder, is this the deal thing they've been talking about in question? I'm not 100% sure. I mean, I still don't know. They said t new exclusive decorations, so something tells me that it's coming, but not yet. But it's interesting that they're kind of offering Saber stuff. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think it's showing for me since I have all of his things. But I'll take a look at my other account to see, or the spare one, to see if it's anything other. If, if you see it, then you know. If not, then I guess weird pop-up. Seems like we're getting these weird bundles now. I don't think it's like anything new particularly, but it's weird. We're getting these advertisings for stuff like, you know. So, I don't know, it's weird. It's still no news for the new stuff, but uh, hey, this, this is it here. Now then, we have this pack. Theo Godron, plus the Clown College, and then there's like and more. However, I already got this, but I don't have this. For two bucks, for three bucks, huh? Hmm. Alright, why not? So it takes us to Circus Pack, which is right here. So I don't know how long this is for, but it gives me a bunch of stuff. But really, it's the Gordon's Carousel I'm looking for. So let's just take this out. Alright, and like that, we're done. So there you go. Looks like I got what I wanted again. So I guess put this stuff... I guess I'm going to dump it in here, right? Yeah, I guess so. So it can just go there. And then I think I'm just going to sell this other stuff. Yeah, because I don't want Theo to accidentally go there. Oops. Actually, this isn't, that's not bad as far as price stuff goes. Yeah, I know. I did all this just to... I did all this just for what? For this thing. Yeah. This thing here. This is the only thing I don't got. And this is what I wanted. Man, what is wrong with me? Everything, apparently. I don't know where to put this. You know what? Just because. Why not? I'm just going to put it. Put it here. There you go. Yeah, so 15. So this was what you would get if you actually got Gordon things before, so... And this originally was supposed to be what Theo came with when he came in the beta. You can see this with Casey's video. But yeah, it's this is interesting how this is just a thing here. So, yeah, unique, but whatever. So something I want to note is that they must have also fixed the little pop-up window. Like, you know, it doesn't show you this here. But when you do click on the, um, the little we call it banner thing, it will it will only take you to the bundle if you don't have anything in there worth getting. If you do, it won't work. So for me, the reason Theodore worked was because of this thing was there. So that's something to keep in note of. I guess here's the next offer that has popped in, which is the Wolf Spain, 300 bucks and whatever. Interesting. Nothing really too... It uh, pop out, unfortunately. Oh, here's the next offer that just popped up. It's McLaney with um, a bit of different stuff here. Just take a look. Oh, it didn't let me. Yeah, so I'm assuming there's not a whole lot there. But, uh, yeah. Curious. It's the 8th, by the way, of August. Oh, wow, we 70% off. For 80,000 coins and 130 bucks, 2.99. Time limit promo to boost up your town. No, thank you. So the next offer came up, which is getting Andrew Craw, 180 bucks, and also the um, unique building, which is the train, which I think I have over here. But I have to have the game load in, unfortunately, to see whether or not, because I remember I did buy. It was originally with Andrew Craw and also Sharon. I think I remember that. So let's quickly see here. 
If the game likes to load, that'd be great. Alright, here we go. And... Come on. There you go. Yeah, so it's this here. So this is the abandoned train. Yeah. It's kind of interesting. Not too bad. Also, I just want to point this out here. This witch... Um, this witch's tower. Apparently it became a bundle exclusive to Slappy and the beginners. So in order to get it, you have to kind of play the game for a bit and then they'll pop in. I don't know how it is now, but um, yeah. Anyways, there's that. Next thing is being offered is this one here with Dr. Brewer. And um doesn't give anything exclusive, I don't think. But this here is interesting because I don't think I've seen that before. Let's just see this. Of course I didn't. It's a unique one. So why are you advertising as if it wasn't unique? Uh, well, you know the deal. Also, there's a stone lion statue, which I don't think I've ever seen either. That's the first time I've seen something like that, but I might be mistaken. Well, you know the deal. I do this so you don't have to. But in the same place, it's like, God, <laughs> really, I'm just, you know, dumbfounded with the whole ordeal type of deal of things. But um, yeah, it still sucks that we're still waiting. To give you context, today is the 18th. So yeah, <clears throat> oh boy. Let's just put these new things down just to take a quick look at them. So this we've seen before. That is over here. If I'm not mistaken. If, uh... It's, it's somewhere over here, I think, right? Now, the thing is, I don't know if I'll have any room to put it near this area, which sucks. So I'm gonna have to try to make room. Try to move things around so I can get stuff. I believe it's over here somewhere, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, right here. So, that's not new. That's a supplier. So if we go back over here, let's just see this. So, yeah, so it gives you that for that much time. So, you know, it's a cool fountain. I think there was a unique um, thing back. Casey Loves Gaming kind of had this, which I'll show off. But I, I think I already did. Yeah, I did. I did one um, when I was doing the Dr. Brewer thing. But there was a unique decoration fountain thing that was only available when he kind of came in and i had no idea so i missed out on it and he got the oh my god look at this tiny stone lion that's not a curiosity it's not it's a decor oh god yeah it's a decoration okay so in that case let's just see it should appear here let's just see if it is because it is worth bucks i'm th i i've never put it down I know that, so I don't have this in my town, per se. But I'm going to see... Oh my god, the dungeon stairs are bringing back bad memories. <laughs> uh, let's just see this here. Where is it? Where is it? It's got to be somewhere here. Um, also, these trees. Alright, sorry. I'm just blanking out. Ah, uh, god. I do apologize. Let me just see... I could have sworn they do here. Because if it's not here, then that means it's a unique item as well. That they don't really tell you such, which is stupid. But I could have sworn it was there at some point. I mean, it should be, but, you know. So let's see this. It should be close by, maybe. Let's see, Yeah, there it is. Stone line statue. So it isn't unique. Also, this is kind of cool. This wishing well. Kind of has a nice plant stuff here. Yeah, why not? I'll buy it. I could probably put it near the brewers and whatnot, so that kind of fits well. So I'll move that around. So let's take a look at this unique item. The garden greenhouse. Yeah. It's nothing too fancy, is it? Yeah, it's just a decoration, so it's not even a scare scene. So, really, if you wanted to get brewer with this type of stuff, I mean, it's not terrible i guess for the price i don't think it came with the scene itself so it's just him which itself is kind of like meh but you know 
I have to do these just to kind of show them off, and um, I guess it's doing its job. Something tells me that they're just going to be doing all these bundles, and then when the bundle stuff is done, that's when they're going to do their big, ooh, this is what we've been working on, guys. Because I think they've gotten some sort of hold off or something, but yeah, that's, that's it here. So I'm going to move all this stuff here. I'm going to find something to do with, not that, yeah, this. I have to find where I can put this for now. Something tells me if I am, if they are still doing the event that I assume they are, they told me they were wanting to do, then this could fit within that new area, but I'm not 100% sure it could be wrong. But we'll see. Still, you gotta love that, you know, if this was real, right? This whole spooky, you know. Oh, this is the best part too, by the way. It's implying that the, uh, like when when they're making those um sh carousel horses that there's skeletons inside so like when you break the 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 mold of it it's like ooh there's spooky skeletons in there <laughs> yeah so it's not like a skeleton made carousel what you thought it was because this implies otherwise the body anyways but yeah this it's in, it's funny it's interesting. I'm sure people would fuck, it would ride this for sure because, you know, it's it, people like scary stuff. Come on, <laughs> this is just a good thing. Also, by the way, I just want to rant this. Why? Why isn't? Why wasn't Horror Town a thing? Why couldn't we have a Horror Town land? Like, I don't like. I get not doing a whole theme park because that's kind of stupid. But why not just like one of the big parks, like you know, Disney or Universal or something like that, kind of do like a section of just Horror Land. Can you imagine that? That would have been cool, but... Oh well. I guess it was never meant to be. Next bundle is that of Dr. Shock. Get the statue there. Not a whole lot, actually. Unfortunately. Yeah. It's it's pretty pathetic on my part, but... Uh, just because I got everything already. It seems like these packs are just, like, one character in a, in a few bundles or so. Weird. They don't even tell you how long they're for. More deals, special spooky deal, 50% off, enjoy 50% off on fat wallet and briefcase. No, thank you, Slappy, I'm good. When's the game getting updated, huh? Oh boy, we finally got this, the Jack Pack. A lot of people were like, how do you get this cool thing over here, right? Well, that was going to allow you to do that. I don't know why it didn't pop up for me, but it would have. I just guess come back in and out, but yeah, this allows you to get, let me see this here. Let me go to my, where is my pumpkin? Oh yeah, right there. Right there. This cool this decoration. It's just a decoration, by the way. It doesn't really do anything. It's just kind of a cool animation thing, but yeah, it's it's really awesome. But yeah, if you want to get Jack stuff, then uh, there you go. Got the pack to pop up, so for me, this is what it just comes with, is the money in the cargo container, which I can buy more of, so, yeah. R.E.P. Long Bed No Leg. <laughs> no one leg, but, you know, yeah, that's the unique thing right now that's going on. 90% off. This is what I get, which is interesting, and I guess the, the pirate thing is only unique, but you can buy it else, so it's not unique into the bundle, but it is a unique as far as, like, un like item to get, so... Yeah, there you go. We just got special bookie deals now. Again. Man, these bundle stuff is just getting sick and tiring, isn't it? Alright, now it's Saber with the one-time offer with the gem thing. So, not a bad buy, but yeah, there's that. The next bundle offer now is that of Crosby with a bunch of other stuff. And it also includes the scene that he's included in. So if you missed out... The St. Patrick's Pack, I guess is what it's called. So it does help you in order to continue, so... It seems like they're just taking packs from before, and they're just making them nightly available now, if you missed it, so... Yeah, there's that. Uh-oh! I see a plus Q! Yep! There it is! Oh boy, it's Glitchy McGee again! <laughs> Why does it do this? It's having a hissy fit! Why? Why does it happen? What? Oh my god, look at this. This is... Oh my god, I love recording the nonsense. Oh my god, I feel like this game is a break, but... Oh, there we go. Yeah, I had to process that for a little bit, but now, now it's finally done. 
There you go. God, it took it a little while. God, why did it freak out, though? All right, whatever, it's finished. All right, that's it. And they're offering the lippy with the unique thing here, which I already got, so... Yeah, it seems as though they're kind of popping these in now. I mean, I've, I've said this many times before, but this was a pack that stuff. So it's like these have been done before. I just don't understand why we haven't gotten anything. Yeah, so it seems like they're just reusing certain packs. But now we got Seder, which, by the way, real creepy that we got him winking at us. I know it's just a little edit, but it's kind of weird. But yeah. Oh, well. The next pack they're advertising is Cynthia, and the one thing I will say that I did not realize is that Cynthia has her her weird robot or spider-like back stuff present in the background here, but we never get to see that because we only get to see the profile picture. So it's one of those. It's just like the the chick they have running the um, the jewelry shop. You know what I'm talking about, Blackswell or whatever her name is. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, still more stuff. It seems like every three days they tend to put something else new out. So who knows? Okay, so this has to be new, like extremely new. Because as you can see here, everybody like um, it's, it's advertising this, which I've never seen before. And by the way. Um, Theodore still has snow on his thing, so I'm glad to see that the asset is not broken, it's just that. Like, yeah, it's just, get a bunch of stuff, so, yeah, so they personally made it. So there's a time limit. There must be something coming out. Another interesting offer, Curly Crosby, a Crosby, Mask Mutant Dr. Brewer. Interesting. Complete pack. I wonder how long this is going to be. We're getting into October now, so this better be worth it, I swear. Well, well, it's October 1st, and look what we have here. The Haunted Halloween pack is back again. Oh, look. Dummy Hurts. Glad to remind me of that event. <sighs> well, it is the month of the year. October spooky month is here. Which means, thank you, I don't care. Which means that we should, hopefully, fingers crossed, <sighs> not watch a video. That would be nice. I wanted to click on this. But, seeing how it's October, and I really recently released a video basically saying that um, if we didn't get anything by this month, then I'm just going to assume the game is dead. Because there's no way they are not going to not do anything for this game. We're getting a lot of people getting accepted into the group, which, you know, means that it's growing. We have more, uh, if not character, not events, but uh, we have, we have like, a new show coming out, you know, on the 13th. The new book series, uh, House of Shivers, has just begun. So we have a lot of stuff. So, whatever they've been cooking up has to be revealed at least this month. And if it can't be released this month because of, you know, because, you know, things happen, at least an announcement or something to kind of say, hey, game not dead, you know. I get the whole packs, like, it, it can help when nothing's here, but keeping us in the dark also doesn't help any ways, too. It sucks that we are in a position where the game series has not done anything. Like, you look at stuff like Snoopy and Adams, and they've been, like, getting love and attention and updates and all that, and then this game is just dead. Well, not really dead, but it's like a, a zombified corpse. Sometimes it comes up, and then it falls back down, and then it comes back up again. It's just like, I just want it to be alive again. How about that? I, I don't even care if we go back to... Like, we are like we never see 2020 again. That's fine. I just want updates consistently every month would be great. Because this game has so much potential. It still has so much potential. And then you're just going to kill it off just like that? Again, I don't think that's what's going on right now. I'm being hopeful. But at the same time, my patience is running out. And at this moment, I'm basically giving it this month... 
if they cannot not do anything this month. If they don't do anything, then that tells me the game's dead. Well, let's see how long this takes. Yes, give me money, dummy! Special spooky deal, 50% off. I feel like they're starting to run out of some of this stuff. I think most of the bundles they had previously, I think it's starting to wear down. <laughs> I That's my opinion. But um, if I have to guess, I'm hoping at some point soon, because it is October, that we are going to get something. Because I'm starting to see a lot more activity going on as far as things go. So they're obviously preparing something. I don't know what is exactly. But, uh, man, if, if they're going to reveal anything, it's got to be this month. So, fingers crossed, man. Isn't that right, Slappy? By the way, you look good in the new show. Damn. So the Jack thing went back on sale again, except this time it looks like it's a new um, picture, I think. I don't think I've seen this before. Oh, yes, and by the way, hi. It's it's a haunted Halloween again. You know, something I wanted to mention is that it seems like recently, you know, with the new TV show, which, by the way, I was kind of skeptical at first, but then after seeing the trailer, I'm like, okay, I can get the hang of it. And then I saw the promotion stuff, and I'm like, okay. No, definitely this is now hyping me up. So they better hit well on this target type thing. But the other thing, too, is I looking online, searching things around, it's making it look like the game is not dead, and the person, my contact, still working on the game, so it's not like he's gone, so... That means he's still, he's doing something, and recently, out of nowhere, like, I'm talking about every day, they've been, hi they've been having more people get added into the special group. Which tells me that they're getting either two things, uh, a few things. One, the game is getting popular enough that people are getting interested in coming into the group. Or, they are getting things ready because they're expecting an, up to, uh, an announcement of some kind. So I'm hoping at some point soon we get an announcement or showcase or something to say, Hey, you know, here's a new thing. Let's hope it's the latter. Yeah, they're starting to run out of these promotion stuff, so hopefully soon we'll be done with this. All right, finally, we're in the home stretch. So just get yourself kind of adjusted. Let's take a breather. Let's relax a little bit. And then let's just go ahead and just take one last break. We should all be good after that. Right. Now that that's all said and done, now we can get to the good stuff. Right. Now then. As you can expect, this is when the update finally came in. So now let's show the picture. Ah, here it is. Look at this. The freak show. Things in the jar. With poor Marty looking terrified in the jar there. And if you're curious without the logo, here it is. So it's pretty plain without it, but yeah, it's it, it fits well for what it is. And it kind of looks like a circus performance kind of photo, which was supposed to be what it's supposed to do. So they did a good job there. By the way, five cents to go into watch these attractions? Man, that's so cheap. A nickel? Hmm. All right, whatever. That's uh, whatever they make their money on. Apparently, they're not making the money from that. They're obviously doing it in other ways, which you'll find out later on. But I digress. Right, so we finally got this update, and with it came a nasty surprise. <laughs> Oh boy, here we go. This is what we've been waiting for half a year for. This update, which introduced something, well, I let my self reaction take everything in. This is taking place on October the 11th, 2023. Well, here's an update I never thought was going to come out, but here it is. Trapped in the Circus of Fear. The new update. This was something I hinted at way back in April, and I honestly thought we'd get this sooner, but nope, here it is now, for Halloween. Hey, at least it's something, right? And, um, yeah, this update, like, I, I was expecting something, but I, I wasn't hope. well, I mean, I don't know, let's see what they've been doing since the past few months of silence. I hope it's worth it, that's all I gotta say. So, uh, ah, uh, here it is, here we go. 
Why? Oh, we got that still in the... Oh, dear God, no! Oh. Oh, no. Okay, so I see what they did. And as I figured, they are using the assets that was made way back, but I hinted at way back in 2020. This was something I suspected to happen. Oh, by the way, apparently they finally fixed the books, which I'm going to talk about. Oh, and uh, they also helped reset the uh, the book for, um, what do you call it? Yeah, this one. Yeah, so now I can do that all over again. So that's fantastic, but whatever. Hey, at least the Halloween decorations here. That's kind of cool. That's that's cool indeed. So I'm glad that's there. And it looks like Oh, so that's the scene. Interesting. Got some cool Halloween stuff decoration here. Oh, new event system. Wait, hold on. Okay, so obviously that's not it. So that's Okay, so that's where we get the glass. And this is supposed to be crafting, I guess. Or is that supposed to be crafting? I don't know. I guess that's the crafting area. So whenever this event comes back, this is probably going to be where they do crafting by the looks of it. All right. So I see what they're doing with this. So I think I get the gist. This is going to be interesting to try to figure out how I'm going to be doing this event 101 thing. I'm probably going to have to do it some way, shape, or form. But let's go ahead and uh, talk about it. Let's see this. So we got Creepy Mirror. So that's the new prize here. Mirror Fragments. We have Mirror. We have Circus Gunpower. And then Witch's Microphone. Alright, so... We got that. Cool. By the way, no clown music. Which, you know, it's not really needed, but, you know, it's unfortunate. Alright, here it is. So this is the the thing. We got a free pass, and then we got a monster pass. Oh. Oh. So this thing is just... So why, why even get it then? That's stupid. Also, se seven days... Wait, oh, 27 days. I didn't see that there for a minute. I thought it was seven days. I was about to freak out there for a second, but okay. At least it's counting down proper, so. Yeah, so there's not going to be a whole, who congrats, you win, or oh, no, you lose, you know, type of thing, which is unfortunate, but. Yeah, I'm going to have to talk about this later, but let's just see this. Uh, redeem. Okay, so they're going to have to change this a bit, but I'm going to talk about it. If you've seen my... If you've seen my channel, and if you've seen my gameplay a little bit of Snoopy, or Macho Island, or Adam's Family, then this is not familiar to you. If you're new to this, then uh, boy do I have some surprises for you. But, although a lot of people might look at this and think that, oh no, this is the worst thing ever, I want to play Devil's Advocate and say that there is some not bad things here by the looks of it. Like, for example, get coins... But then you can also get some dollars stuff there and other things that can help you out. So we got circus lamps, which is just... I thought, okay, yeah, I see that. So let's see this. So one of the premium things we got here is the trapeze zone. Man, they really decorated this whole thing, didn't they? Circus cannon. Okay. We have Roman's tent. We have Clown's Tent. We have the Morton Knife Collection. We have the Circus Radio Center. This is the Great Bonzini Gym. Oh, so they really themed it around this update. This is a scare decoration. doesn't really tell us what it is, but I'm assuming this is like where you go in the jar, like in the, in the thing. Mr. Peeper's House. All right. And it only goes up to 33. Okay. 
So the last prize is a statue that you can get. And then here is Barbosa's dressing room. So, here's something you need to know. If you complete the event, you get this little brand prize, which is a statue of the character. However, if you buy the Monster Pass, this here is the character. So you get the character as a grand prize. Think of that as you will. Anyways, I got mirrors. So we need to do... Okay. Gunpowder. So it looks like the mirror fragments are the main currency here. Mirrors, circus gunpowder, which is microphone, clown hat, clown shoes, trapeze artist costume, Barbosa spell. Okay. And circus stuff. So pretty much like before. All right. And here's the gimmick, the new deal. Circus of Fear Monster Pass. Unlock all premium rewards and premium challenges. So yeah, there you go. Let's see, Scary Circus Star Pack. If you buy this pack, you get just some decorations. So it's Clown Car, George Clown Box, Security Clown Car, Jester's the house Stester steed the horse and then you got some event currency and whatnot and then you got the creepy stand circus candy machine stilted candy stick and then that's about it here and it looks like circus fear 2003 is available once you purchase all three things here so if I'm not mistaken, I believe that is this. So if you get all the grand prizes, you can keep the scene, which would be an interesting prize because we haven't had that before, but it's possible. So if you buy into this, you don't have to get the 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 books and per okay. I have to think about this real quick. There's a lot to think about, but there's not all. There's more, <laughs> lots more. So let me see if I can find this. There is supposed to be another pack at some point that's supposed to come after the fact, after the event, which will add more to the scares and whatnot. It's 27 days, so circus kissing booth acrobatic mannequins and that's about it so if so basically it's just a bunch of decorations if you really want to so what i think i might be mistaken but if it's going to be following like the other events at some point these are going to go on sale for deals per se which i would recommend uh, i guess oh god there's so much to talk about and i have work and all that stuff so it's so much I can do. But I digress. I guess let's go ahead and start with the, the book. Trapped in the Circus of Fear. Oh, I was working in town late one night when my skin felt eerie goosebumps. The hell you talking about, Curly? You don't got no skin. Oh, didn't see you there. This time of year is just so egg exciting. <laughs> I mean, exciting. <laughs> it just gets me singing. And this year in particular. <laughs> Boy, do we have reasons to be excited. Our town is about to welcome a guest so captivating, you'll never want to fold your tents. <laughs> Place to creep mirror. Obtain mirror fragments. Okay, well, I'm not getting this because, you know, we don't need a whole lot, as you'll see in the end here. Getting this is just going to be dumb easy. At least, at least I'll give them credit, at least they still decorate this stuff here. So, there's that. Let's see this. So, we got the 
Reptile Boy, Girl with Many Tongues, and so it looks like it's the Freaks, and they give you a chance to get circus stuff here. I'm surprised they don't drop a unique item, but I guess, you know, less work per se. I think I'll try to do all of them at one point. I won't do it just yet, but uh, yeah. Now, out of curiosity, if I were to click on you. Alright, so that's interesting. So, they have a lot more characters to do stuff. For example, Fifi. Only a bite. I, I mean a kiss. So there's animations. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, so they actually went as far as to give a character's animations. Wow. I guess that's part of the reason why they were working so hard for this. Because they wanted to make sure they can get a proper update here. And hopefully it pays off with the money. And, you know, if they get the money, then that means they get the stuff. So I'm going to check to make sure what happens if you get all the bundles. Like, I'm going to sacrifice myself for you, the audience. Just so you understand. And then from there, we'll end up seeing what ends up happening here. Now, out of curiosity. Yeah, so it seems like this is going to be... Quite interesting. So let's see this. So we got some characters here. Now, just making sure. Where's Fifi? Yeah, so they have animations, but they're locked behind, so they can't really do anything at the moment. Example, Mr. Wood has an animation. Puppet Pancake. And you need that. Interesting. I'll show off the characters, I think, that can do stuff, but uh, it requires... Okay, so, I think Creepy... S no, I was about to say I think Creepy Stance was the one that kind of does the thing, but I don't think so. I don't know, per se. I have to look again to see who does what exactly, but I guess we should probably just look at characters who can do things for now. It was in the whole lot. All right, so I guess let's go. Who's the last character who gets highlighted for now? Mrs. Dark. Okay, so let's just see this. Actually, I'm surprised Marty doesn't get involved here. Let's just see, for example, is it because he needs... That's weird. So he's supposed to, but... All right, so new monster build uh, bullet. Take picture. Okay. So, preparing for the circus, so we'll have them do that. So, unlike the other updates that allows you to have different characters do stuff to get you points, this time around it's only for certain, they highlight certain characters that are, like, available during the time. Which isn't bad, but, you know, it's just something to keep in mind, I guess. So, yeah, this whole thing is just interesting for the most part. Oh yeah, I already got that, so that's, that's, you know, there's there. Uh, does Slappy does anything? I don't think so. No, he's sitting out this time. You know, after, after the last update, I think he's, he's basically not allowed anymore. Preparing for the circus, I think that's the only, yeah, so that's the only thing he can do, so, you know. He's just, the character gives us stuff. Lucy. Prepare for circus. So she's not really featured. Dustin, I think he is. Yeah, he is. I don't know why it doesn't show. Get to work, clown. So that's something he can do. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, it kind of sucks now that they've locked characters behind the paywall type thing. So I guess I have to separate again with, with the events. So now we got other things to go through. Which is unfortunate, because, uh, well, I guess I'm gonna have... Man, there's so many videos I have to make now. I have to figure it out. It's gonna be a long time, but at some point when you see this, then you pretty much I at least have an idea what I'm doing, so... There's that. I'm assuming special books will probably be coming eventually at some point, too, while we wait for stuff. My guess is the next update, if we're lucky, might be December. If this turns out to be successful for them and they get what they were looking for, then, you know, that's good news for us because then that means that they can get away with getting more stuff coming in. 
And unfortunately, that means update. I guess I'll talk about it during my crafting 101, or I have talked about it. I don't know at this point. I'm still overwhelmed after months of nothing. You know what I mean? And it's just so, it's kind of surreal. I kind of was expecting, or like, I kind of knew something was coming, but I kind of also was thinking like, okay, worst case scenario, we get nothing and then we move on. But here we are. And, um, oh yeah, and the, and they're still keeping this background here, I guess. So this, this, this background from the, uh, be afraid is going to be staying here for now, I guess. I'm surprised they don't really change it to something else. Like, you know, they have other stuff they can do, but I guess this is, like, the the only good ones that they can keep, so. All right, whatever. I mean, if it works, it works. Why change it, I guess? Oh, God. <sighs> so, yeah. Let's just see this. Does Brooke do anything? She's pretty up front for now. She does. Do a flip. Okay, so she's part of it as well. This is dark. Prepare for the circus. Sharon can actually do stuff. Prepare for the circus. Yeah, okay. So at least some characters... Some characters not part of the event actually gets to do stuff. Which is interesting, especially Fifi. It was interesting to see her in here. But I have a question. Let me just see this real quick. Is it because she's part of... Yeah, that's why. So it seems like characters that you can get through here will be associated with, you know, items and stuff. But as far as other things go, it seems like that's not going to be the case anymore. I still love the fact that uh, Better Call Dawes still has that decoration thing going on here. And yeah, not everybody's changed, and oh boy, I just realized Crosby's just changed as well, which means uh, we have to deal with... Hold on a second. Aiming training fence. That's new. Part pantry shed? That's also new. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. If I am correct, I'm going to try because one of the things they've stated was they were going to try to change the way things were done as far as like beginning stuff goes. And those items are new. So something tells me that that's part of the fixing the whole beginning part. Maybe I have to see exactly. I guess let me go to my little area. Man, I don't feel like my area is big enough now. I feel like it's going to be... Yeah, it's not going to be enough. Actually, did they change the money thing here? No, it's still, it's still pricey. Why am I not surprised? Let's see this. So, so that's new. And... Oh, so you only get one. Interesting. Improvisation... Improv improvisation stuff. So I think this was... Let me just see this. I think... Let me see. Is this over here? I want to see because it sounds like this is like for... The... The one... Yeah, it is. So, that's what it is. So if you don't have it during the, uh the Zeke quest line or whatnot, then uh, you got it now. So that's what that's there for. So pantry shack. What is this? Inter okay. Weird. Very weird. You can get more than that, but the, the target shot, you only get one of. That's odd. Is there anything else? I don't think there is. I mean, okay, so you can get the circus lamp. So you get more of that if you wish. So that's good to know. I'm trying to see if there's also other things here that has not been stated or shown before. To keep a note of when it comes to the uh, 
crafting 101, but I guess this is something I have to look at before. I mean, this whole thing is just basically just observing things from the past. I think this tree is... Well, I mean, I don't think it's new, but it looks new to me. Uh, maybe they'll update this so that they can fix the, uh, the way they do their updates. My opinions. Alright, so yeah, yeah, we got that stuff, we know that. Yeah, so some of this, so it's only the beginning stuff, I think, that they've actually changed. Single swing sandbox, that looks new. I haven't seen that before, or the slide. I think those are new. But, uh, yeah. I'm just looking at this because I'm trying to see anything that is new or things that have basically changed their their appearance which bonfire mm. like some of the stuff i'm trying to recall but it looks like they've updated some of it at least but the beginning ones i know that was that's new i haven't seen that before mm. unless some of the stuff they've brought from the past and brought it in here, which is probably a possibility now that I think about it. Then again, I haven't really looked into all this stuff decoration-wise, so really it's kind of hard to figure which is new and which isn't, if you know what I mean. But I do what I do. Ah. Yeah, so there's that. So you can get a creepy mirror for that. And uh, I'm going to tell you this right now. I probably told you this during the crafting or the... I guess I have to call it Event 101. Don't bother. Don't waste your money on that. You'll get more of it. No problems. Actually, we don't have a battle pass, so... Oh, not the battle pass. We don't have the the stupid uh, the thing. So, really, it's not going to be as easy as it usually is. Alright. So... That's that. Interesting. Right. So. I guess let's see who else. I think Chuck also does something. Yeah, he does. Shoot them. Show them how it's how to do it. Okay. So, I do love the fact that they give some characters some love here. Right? I don't think the mayor does anything. No, she doesn't. She's sitting this one out. I know Crosby does, though. Actually, does she do anything? No, she doesn't. Okay. I have to look at exactly who can do stuff. But, uh, you know, again, it's going to be something I have to look at in the past. Preparing for the circus. So that's that's it for now, I think. As far as... Actually, does Eric do anything? No, he doesn't. So he's sitting with one out as well. Alright, so there's a whole bunch of stuff here to do. Oh yeah, Crosby. So this is... So I will eat this. Okay. Right, so again, a lot of these interesting animations. So I'm glad that they've actually added animations and made it seem more interesting. I guess I'm going to have to think about how to do this. So, you know, this is going to be interesting how I'm going to do everything here. But uh, I'll, I'll do my best to set things up and... Uh, yeah, I think that's about it for now. So that's the beginning of this. And uh, we'll continue on with the question line and uh, figure things out along the way. So, you know, should be back sooner than later. But I have to get ready for work. And that, ladies and gentlemen, ends this long part one. Probably the longest part one ever to exceed. Hopefully we never have to do this ever again. But... Hey, whatever. If you enjoyed, then that's great. But, uh, if, if you just skipped to the ending there, then I, I guess I don't blame you. But, um, you know, poor me. I've, I've worked my heart. Uh, I worked hard on this stuff, and, uh, yeah! Battle Pass! Oh, the Monster Pass this time around. We've, we're finally here. Oh, boy. This is gonna be an awkward one to talk about in Crafting 101. And not only that, but, you know, oh. Free to play is now dead. It's now pay to win. Pay to play, or else you don't get nothing. We need to make money somehow. Oh dear. I'll talk more about this stuff later on during the parts, as you'll see. But for now, 
let's end it. We, we've gone on long enough. I won't force you any longer. But thank you for watching. I've been Grim, and I'll be seeing you next time for part two and the finale to Trapped in the Circus of Fear. Until then, get yourself comfortable and seat ready. The show is about to begin. Oh, God. Thank <laughs> you.